Oh, look. What, what a, what a beautiful person. Oh, God. Fantastic. The glasses and everything. Just, just perfect. Okay. So, do we have any mods we want to turn on? We could have a hard, yeah, let's turn it on. Because hardware is fun. Hoggle. There we go. Now we can make hardware. Yay! Uh, how many days do we want per month? One, our loan, our starting loan, we're gonna want like... Uh... Oh! Oh no, we need a company name. Spook Vooper Inc. Let's go. We're totally not going to rip off every other game company ever. Did I hear Minecraft Battle Royale? <laughs> Stop it! Why is game development what it is now? It's so bad. <laughs> it's so bad. Okay, um... Do we want to start with a loan? Probably not. We can start in a beautiful garage. We're gonna be like the... The Mark Gates of this world. Wow, look! It's looking pretty good. Updates. Updates, updates, updates. It looks like the walls have some bump mapping. Ooh. Ooh, nice. Very good indeed. Let's go ahead and actually enter our building. Nice. This is a very, very nice area we're starting with. This is going to be uh, very, very necessary to take over the world. With game development, can we paint? Because that color is just absolutely atrocious. One moment. Let me quickly paint because... Yeah, let's do like a dark blue on the inside. Dark blue. Yes. Great. That, that's all I really care about. Like, oh god, it went back. No. Uh, no. Give me my dark blue. You will not be ugly. You are Spook Pooper Inc. We have to be beautiful. Great. Okay, let's do like the important thing where we make our company actually functional. How do you do like the Sims modes where you can see through the walls? That's that's not exactly what I wanted. I want them to be like only appear if oh I guess that's the mode right there. I, I guess I'm just gonna have walls on because everything else looks really awkward. Here we go. Thank you for the 20 and okay. I don't know what that stands for, but thank you for it. Thank you so much. Okay, so let's go. Let's let's build our company. We've we're gonna get some nice glass tables because you know who cares about saving money? It's not like we're a new company or anything. Get our computer. Nice. Very good. Very good indeed. Um Our computer's gonna need a very nice calculator because calculators are very useful when doing math. Believe it or not. Where is- there it is. There it is. Okay. And we obviously need a cactus. That's the most necessary part. I mean, gotta keep the morale up. Nice. Okay. Beautiful office here. Absolutely wonderful. Um, do we need anything else? I'm gonna say we're gonna put a little picture on the wall. You know, we need some good morale. Here we go. There we are. Ah, oh, we've got a beautiful office now. Okay. Floor lamp to keep the room bright. N nice and bright. I think we're all set. I think that's gonna do it. Okay. So the company is only, only us right now. So that's good to remember. Uh, we're gonna go to work any second now. Where is Spike Viper himself? Wow, what a lazy guy. He won't even show up to work. Ah, here we are. Okay, let's let's get our first contract. Wait, where's the thing? Ah, contract work. Uh, let's make a logistics application. Sounds fantastic. We're working for Street Carrot. That's a normal, that's a very normal name. Make Luigi's Mansion 3 so I can have early access. I'm gonna break so much copyright today. This is going to be fantastic. Okay, now we've gotta actually like develop it. Great. Let's make tons of money. Great. 
promote. Yes. Fix all the bugs. We can probably get this done in one day. Look at that. That's efficiency. Release. Bam, and we got $8,800. That's... That's professional. Which means we've just made a lot of money. Now we have $17,000. Okay, so what do we want to do now? That's the question. Do we want to just tackle a game because we have pretty much no expenses whatsoever? One second, let me check. We have 376 in bills. Per month. That means that we can last for like forever. Do we want to dive in already? I think I'm actually going to do one more contract just to get a bit more money. I've got a plan though. I'm going to educate myself. Like, we're gonna hit college because that's going to make it much easier for us to make a high quality first product. Wow. If only in real life you could just do two contracts and then be able to afford college. Wouldn't that be like, beautiful. Let's, let's educate ourselves. Bam, another 8,000. Pause. Quickly throw me into education. Okay, ready? Look, look how bad I am at everything. That's disappointing. Educate. Programmer. And I think we want to, like... Now, we can teach ourselves to do physical, so we could create, like, RAM and CPUs and stuff. But I am going to be... We're going to start in software. So, system is, like, important. We're gonna educate us for six months. A lot's going to go by, which kind of sucks, but... Whatever. We've gotta, we've gotta ensure that we have the greatest. Okay, great. Hey, guess what? Now, it's time to get educated. Ah. What do you mean, already scheduled? Educate. There we go. And now you're gonna get educated in algorithms. Great, you're going to school for like a year before you start. That's... Look at him. Uh, I am just asleep right now. I'm so tired. All I've done is school for the past six months. And another six months of school! Oh my god, my computer caught on fire while I was gone. That's... That is actually very dramatic. Okay. Let's quickly call... We'll, we'll just very quickly call in some people. Is this... Ah, here we go. Call maintenance, call cleaning, call IT support. They're all just going to uh, clean everything up and get it all ready for me. And now, now we create our first project. This is it! We're doing it! <clears throat> well, what can we do to make like a really nice hit? Like, how can we take the world by storm? Oh, we gotta use a game engine. What's a good one? Probably the more expensive ones are better. Great. This one is great quality. Oh, a lot of them are great. Let's figure out what the newest one is. Like, we want something that is great and rather new. There we go. Yeah, and it has the most active users as well. There we go. Fast Engine 2. Sounds great. So let's name... What are we going to call the game? We need to... We're going to do... It is text-based. Oh, we could do 2D graphics, except I have no art skill. So it's going to be a text-based game. No music, because I don't have any skill on that. I could do AI. There we go. Local multiplayer. There we go. That's going to be beautiful. Okay, a, lo a local multiplayer text-based game. Tic-tac-toe. Extreme. That's going to do it. This is going to be the greatest game of all time. It is... Uh, real-time strategy, I guess, is the closest we can get. There we go. Tic-Tac-Toe Extreme. The greatest. The greatest of text-based games. Oh, you guys want... You guys want cooler games than that. Okay, what are we doing? Uh, mine... Mine lines. Except it's not mine blocks. Hmm, thank you for the $5 CK Vanilla. Name the next game Chess, but everything is on fire. We will keep that in mind. Potato Simulator. There we go. You are a potato and you have to survive with your friend to be good potatoes. 
It's gonna be great. Potato simulator, go. Oh, I need an operating system it's gonna work on. Uh-oh. This is where things start getting expensive. Uh, so, there's only two. So let's just do both. I mean, it's gonna be a little bit expensive for the licenses, but totally worth it to get the extra- Oh my god, that was really expensive in licenses. Holy moly, I take it back. Yikes, those were, uh, yikes. Woo. Jeez. There goes all of our money. <laughs> we may have to do a little bit of work on the side. Let's just quickly do a contract. Uh, uh, embedded system for 10 grand. Ooh, 12 grand for this one. Here we go. Accept work. Let's just do this very quickly. We only have one month to do it at. Well, I think that counts the next month. So this is fine. Multitasking. What has ever went wrong while multitasking? Okay. Bam. In now. Promote. Get rid of bugs. I'm actually gonna get rid of all the bugs on this one pretty much because it's $12,000. That's quite a bit of money. Bam. Once we've fixed like 30 bugs, I'll release it. Sell the radiator to save costs. Do you want me to freeze? Is that it? Y you want me to die? Jeez, you guys are pretty cutthroat. I hope you never manage a business. Okay, here we go. Now I've got $13,000 again. Almost $14,000. Potato Simulator is almost designed. I mean, there's a lot of design that has to go into the Actually, I'm going to design the game while they do it. Okay, ready? This is it. I can... I can design the game faster than he is. There it is, that's the game. Potato simulator. It's it's a potato underground, growing a little flower. And then there will be a button to grow. Yes. That's the game right there. It's beautiful. Next generation technology. Oh, we're almost done. Okay, great. Oh god, potato guns. That may be the next one. The next game, you'll get a potato gun, and you'll have to shoot your children at your enemy. Oh my god, that's, that's rather brutal. Never mind. I take it back. That's, that's really messed up. Okay, there we go. Now we develop because it's outstanding. We have to market it. We have to announce its release date. When are we releasing this bad boy? Um, it's suggested to do it in December 18, 1982. We're gonna do it in, uh, we'll give us a little bit of extra time. We'll do it March 1983. One year and four months. That seems like a lot of time, actually. A year and a month is better, yeah. We can do it within that amount of time. Little does the game know we've educated ourselves, so we're actually doing this really quickly. How much code do I need? 13 units? Yeah, this is gonna be really easy. Okay. Um, so we're gonna make a press release about it to get hype up. Okay, maybe maybe just text and pictures. It's going to be fantastic. This is so exciting. We are going to make our press release and program, and this is going to be the greatest game ever. Here we go. Okay, maybe we should like give this a little bit of pride. Actually, I guess they're both about just as important as each other. The actual game is probably more important than the press release. Although the actual game is going to be done way before the press release, so never mind. Priority is being moved. We're going to put the game on pause temporarily so that this press release can get over with. Maybe I should hire someone to do the marketing, but I don't have enough money for that, so... You know what? We're actually going to run out of time. I need to, like, get better at marketing. 
This is really disappointing performance. All you have to write is, you're a potato, you live. That's the mark. You know what? That's pretty much all we need. I, I have, I have finished my press. Let's see what they said about my press release because it was pretty much two sentences. Let's see. News. Spoovuber Inc. announces Potato Simulator. We are not well known in the market. It's currently being developed and it looks decently futurist. The press release contains some nice pictures and it doesn't inspire confidence. Ah! Perfect! But we have 70 followers. 71 people want to buy our brilliant game. Take that, people who said we weren't inspiring confidence in them. We're doing just fine. Oh, oh darn. I don't want to be in edit mode. Okay, how's the computer doing? State 48. Yeah, we need to uh, hire some people to fix stuff. Hello. I don't know how I'm a programmer, yet I can't maintain my own computer, but that that's just how the game is, I guess. Okay. Here we go. Look at us go. Tap, tap, tap away at that keyboard. We're almost done with the main programming. That's exciting. And then I'm going to review it myself because I can't afford an actual review. So let's market it. Let's give out a press build. That's really going to hype it. Oh! Oh! We have over a thousand followers! Oh my god! Guys! Over a thousand people want to be a potato in a text-based game. This is so exciting. Now we're at 1,300 followers. It's just going up. Quickly, another press build at the end of today. I'm sure that it'll be even more exciting than the last one. Yeah, we have about 2,000 followers, and we're going to start losing them soon. Um, wow. Look at that. That is, that is so many people who want to be a potato. Over 2,000 people. DLC. We don't need DLC. Potatoes live very simple lives. They don't need DLC. Okay, we're, we're almost done here, guys. We're so close. We're almost at that 13 code we needed. 12.72. I think we're releasing in December, September, October, November. Oh, we're releasing soon. Oops. Maybe we didn't give ourselves enough time. I should have taken the extra few months. Okay, here we go. Promote. Yes. At the same time, we're going to do a press build. And we're going to review it. Oh, it's only allowed during alpha. Whoops. Oh, well. That's fine. We're fixing bugs. Now, I can do something special. I can turn myself to crunch time to try and uh, get myself to work harder. Or is that... Manage teams. Crunch! Yes! We are in crunch time now. Crunch. And that's gonna make me work a bit harder. At the expense of my mental health, I'm going to work faster. Yay! Okay. If we just do a press build every month, we can keep the hype up. Also, we have to buy copies of it at some point. That's important. Okay, this is it. 59 bucks. It's November. Release is literally next month. Can we get rid of the last few bugs? I think we can. Let's see what they're saying about the press builds. Okay. The target demographic doesn't know who we are. We haven't really heard about it. It's actually looking okay in BOSA's decent feature set. That's, that's good news. Great. Can we just make that work? Thank you. We have fixed a hundred bugs almost. This is it. It's December. Today's the day we release. Well, the month we release. This is it. A hundred and thirty-three bugs. We're going to quickly start printing them. Oh, where's the order copies button? I need to order copies. All software. Not all software. My software. My software. 
the distribution. Oh my god. Uh, your releases. Oh, I think I have to do it right after I release, actually. It's okay. Ready? We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Release. Yes. Yes, we are going to market. It's gonna have a budget of a thousand. It's gonna be great. Okay, so we have to buy copies so that people can actually get the game. Uh, order copies. How much is it gonna cost per... I can afford a thousand copies pretty easily. I, I think we may sell... We have 2,000 fans, so we're gonna buy 3,000. That's pretty much all of our money is gonna go into this. Ready? This is it, guys. Let's see if we make any sales. This is it. Can it be done? Yes! We got $7,000. We have 300 active users, which means we spent way too much on the copies, but that's okay. Okay, we have to put way more money into marketing. Like, way more money into marketing. Yeah, budget, you're going to change to five thousand if we can get enough word out about potato simulator it will have a lot of ability come on i'm throwing all of my money at this and i'm also fixing the bugs come on yes we have twenty thousand dollars everyone loves potato simulator okay clean the foot i can actually hire a cleaning person now Look at that. We're so fancy. They're gonna have nowhere to stay, but they're going to clean. Should I increase the amount of money I'm spending on marketing? Probably. We're gonna change our budget to 10000 now. Growing our marketing budget is going to grow the amount of people buying the game, which should grow our <clears throat> income. Oh, we're staying pretty steady when it comes to income. Okay, we have $32,000, so we have actually done a fantastic job on our first game, Potato Simulator. Potato Simulator has seriously taken off. It's starting to slow down, though. So, now is when we want to ask the question, do we want to expand? And the answer is clearly yes. Ooh, the color of that room isn't actually terrible. I can't lease the bathroom, sadly. I don't think I can get any more space than this here. Um, it may be time for us to move to a new place. Uh, I think it is time. I think we've gotten our first major hit, and it's time for us to expand. We will need to make a sequel to Potato Simulator, however. Um, I think it's going to be fantastic. Oh, yikes! Okay. The amount of money we're making has dropped dramatically. It's time to stop marketing. I think we have reached our theoretical cap on the amount of people that are going to play Potato Simulator. I think that's gonna be it. Let's see next month if we still make any money from it. Great, we're at $33,000 though. We have really picked ourselves up. Oh, we are just, we made $14, yeah. So, Potato Simulator has really uh, injected us with cash. We are now twice as rich as before we started developing it. Which, on the list of companies that exist, should put us at the very bottom still. But, how are you guys doing? You are going bankrupt. How are you guys doing? You're also going very poorly. And you. I was about to say we can buy stock in a really small company to give ourselves a little bit of safety, but never mind, all these small com- They are not a small company. Okay guys, well that's gonna be it for today. We have created our first product. We have made the great, the perfect potato simulator and people are buying it. Next time we will move into a bigger place, rebuild new offices and hire our first workers. Thank you, Cactus, for doing so well in inspiring me to create Potato Simulator. And thank you to you. Thank you all for watching Leak of... Leak? 
Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and hail Vuperia as always. Bye!